Hey guys, Dave here with Funky Foods with Dave. Today is uh, June 3rd, Friday. Um, today is Funky Food Friday, but I forgot to get something out for that, so we're going to do a taste test today. Sorry I haven't been around for about 8-9 days. We were on vacation and just doing other stuff. Um, so, remember at the end of this video, please hit the like button, share, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you know when my videos pop up. As you'll see on the front, I have all four of my tanks already. Um, that is the Vermonster, which is the Reaper and Maple Syrup. That is the Nor'easter, which I'll explain in a second. This is the Hothead Honey Tink, which is the Hibernero and Honey. This one is, what one did I call it? Oh, the Vermont too. Blues, which is the Scorpion Pepper and Blueberry. So the, the, the Nor'easter is Reaper, Scorpion, Hibernero, Maple Syrup, Blueberry, and Honey. It was like the last um, third of all of them and we made a tink on it. I have to say that one's really good. Flavor wise, none of these are extreme, 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 extreme heat. They're hot, but they're they're really good. Good flavors to them. You can taste the flavors and the peppers. Oh, see, I think they're warm. Yeah, which some tinks are just no flavor. They say it's a flavor, but there is no flavor there other than the peppers. Um... Ow. Also, you can see Paula bought me this the other day. Let's see what you were up in Maine, right? Yep. At a, a flea market? Uh, a yard it's sale. like a thrift store yeah, type thing. Yeah, a little thrift store type thing. This is the battle between Kwai John and Darth Maul, and here's Obi Wan from uh, Phantom Menace, which is still, to me, one of the best uh, lightsaber fights, duels in Star Wars movie and TV show history. I don't know if you guys are into Star Wars, but the new Obi Wan series is phenomenal. I know Steve's watching it. I'm not sure who else is watching it out there. Deb. Ep Doesn't Deb watch it? I think so. Yeah, Deb yep. does too. But episode three, <sighs> that's the Darth Vader that I've always wanted to see. So anyways, let's get into today's taste test. Today I am doing the Budweiser Brewmasters Premium Barbecue Sauce Classic. This was sent to me by Scott Michael. Um, go check out his channel. I think he's at like 176 subscribers. So let's do a push to get him to 200. He has a great channel. He, he does, Yeah, I like him. Yeah, he does a little bit of everything. Taste tests of hot sauce and snacks. And I, he does a lot of that to um, um, get Tom from Hiccups and Heroin all confused because he doesn't know what he's going to do. So, which is an ongoing little joke there. He's always confused, Tom, with what, what Scott's going to do or not do. So... Um, yeah, give him a shout. Tell him that uh, we sent you over there. Check out his channel, Scott Michael on YouTube. That's his channel name, Scott Michael. All right, let's get right into this one. I'm going to read it. Again, this is the Budweiser Brewbasters Premium Barbecue Sauce. I cannot read the ingredients because they are extremely small. Oh my God, even the font is on. crazy. But here we go. Taste the Budweiser difference. Like our famous Budweiser beer, this genuine line of sauces contains only the finest ingredients for a truly exceptional taste experience. Our executive chefs in conjunction with the brewmasters of Anheuser-Busch have perfected this recipe, assuring you that your cooking experience is the best it can be. Taste the difference that only a premium sauce with Budweiser name can deliver. So it's manufactured by Marketplace Brands out of Elk Grove Village, Illinois. Um, you can ch There's no website on here to send you to... Uh, but I bet you if you look up just uh, Budweiser Brewmaster Premium Barbecue Sauce, you'll find it. Um, again, thank you, Scott, for sending this. Let me give this a shot. Oh, that smells good. Doesn't he do that, like, walk? He walks, doesn't yeah, he? I'm walk. so proud of him. Yeah. Dave and I had acupuncture today. It was really wonderful. And Scott says, my bottle, so I licked it. Nice thick sauce. Mm. It smells great. That smells really, really good. Hi, buddy. There you go. That is a very thick sauce. 
Very sweet. I like that. Is it spicy? No. No. There is zero spice to it. So can I put those on my munchie rolls tonight? Yep. We stopped at the farmer's market and there's a, uh, a uh, uh, person that sets up there and they cook on these things called munchie rolls. It's kind of like an egg roll with different types of stuff. Uh, steak and cheese. Ethiopian breakfast. Uh, an Ethiopian breakfast one. Uh, uh, buffalo chicken. Yeah. Uh, she has, I don't know, probably Veggie eight burger. Nine, yeah, eight eight chicken cord on blue. These things are so good. Mm -hmm. Her food, what's it? It's called Munchie Rolls. Munchie right? Rolls. Check yeah, them out. Her business. So if you're up in Vermont, or even I think she does the West Lab area of New Hampshire and that stuff, if you see her product, buy it at a farmer's market because mm -hmm. it's really good. This barbecue sauce here is phenomenal. I am going to get some... Uh, Boy, that's thick. That's a thick barbecue sauce. For a large brand, this is very good. And I think he's tried two other versions of their sauces, and I don't think he's complained about one of them. When I say he, I'm talking about Scott. I think he's done two others of this, if I'm not mistaken. This sauce here will go good on... Anything? Yeah, pork, chicken... Uh, steak. That's what I'm thinking about doing this with, is putting this on a nice tender wing. Putting it on that grill, low and slow, that's going to be good. Mm. I would highly recommend this. Heat-wise, it's a zero. It's a, it's a zero. Um, Flavor-wise, I could almost drink that myself. I would give it, I'd give seven and a half. Not quite an eight. Better than seven. Seven and a half is a fair score on that. That's, that's really actually good. good. Yeah, that's really good. For mass produced sauce, that is really Where is that from again? Who makes it? it uh, it's bottled by the uh, manufactured for marketplace, manufactured for marketplace brands, Elk Grove Village, Illinois. So it's, it's, with their product, but it's manufactured by marketplace brands. Um, hmm. Anheuser Busch, Budweiser, and that's all that trademark stuff. I can't read the. Uh, I can't read that small writing. That is some small writing. Corn syrup, tomato puree, white vinegar. Yeah, barley. Water, malt, yeast, salt, pineapple, concentrate, pineapple concentrate. I can taste the pineapple actually. Now that it, now that I saw that's on there, I, that's okay. That I can taste that. Um, different spices. But yeah, that is really good sauce for a, a big, you know, produced brand of sauce. So far, some of yeah, yeah, that's good. Um, we will start getting back on track, everybody, with our. You still got me, honey? Yeah. <laughs> uh, Paula got um, acupuncture today, so she's about to fall asleep on us. I'm very relaxed. <laughs> I love acupuncture. I don't know if anybody else um, does, but I'm really into that. But tomorrow I'll be back with my Saturday sodas uh, video. Sunday we'll be back with taste tests, so we'll get back rolling. We got plans. We're going to do a different change of line of stuff here. I got tinctures to send out to people, plus a couple other things here. I got a boxy soda to send out to Steve because he's never tried it. So, guys, we were back full steam starting tonight. Um, anything to say, babe? No. Happy Friday. Right. Happy weekend. Have a great It's supposed and... to be gorgeous here tomorrow. Yep. 70 degrees, no humidity. Perfect skies and a light breeze. That's perfect. So and I got, we got a lot of work to do outside. Yeah, the thing is, when up. you go on vacation, <laughs> you also don't get stuff done. And then he had had his surgery, so we're behind a little bit, but we're on a mission. Yeah. Guys, we will see you tomorrow for our soda video. Have a good night. Take care of yourselves. Um, yes. So this Thank video, you, Scott. Uh, yep. Thank you, Scott. This was the Budweiser Brewmaster Premiums Barbecue Sauce Classic.
highly recommend. Would If I see it, would I buy it again? Most definitely. All right, guys. Have a good night. Take it easy. Bye.